What's going on, guys? Good morning. Well, it's not good morning. Let me see what time it is. Thought I had a time check. Yeah, it is good morning. It's 8.30 in the morning. I've been fishing for about two and a half hours now. Um, I did a video earlier. Uh, my phone overheated. I don't got my GoPro. Um, I've been flipping for like an hour now. I caught one fish so far. I missed one like 10 minutes ago, not even five minutes ago. I was doing the video, I wasn't paying attention and I wasn't looking at my line. So yeah, you already know. But the first one I caught was pretty nice. It was about like two pounds, two, two and a half. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy. But it would have been nice catching that second one. It was a nice fish. But that's how it is, right? You miss some, you catch some. You win some and you miss some. Um, what I'm using today, it is my AP Bassing 7.6 Heavy Rod. Um, I love this freaking, this rig I got. I um, also have my Gerardo Shimano. This is 7.4. Uh, I got a um, suffix, 55 pound suffix on it. I also have my Silver Hawk with my Shimano um, City Car. My Shimano City Car. With my silver hawk on it, I'll show you right now. Give me a second. Silver hawk. Uh, this is a 7.3. 7.6, I'm sorry, 7.6 medium heavy. With my H200 HD Citica Shimano with the X chip on it. It's a pretty good rod, I love it. I love the Rio. I actually got two of those reels. I bought two of those. And I bought one Gorado. Which I am planning to buy another one. <clears throat> I love these Gorados. Oh, I want to buy the DC. The new DC Shimano that just came out. DC 200. That fucking reel. It's phenomenal. About $250 reel. But you pay what you get for it. Remember that. You don't want to go to Cabela's or Walmart and buy a fucking $50 reel that it's just, it's just no point, you know? For that, save a, save a $50 more and go buy a, a $100 reel. And go buy two. You know what? You don't even need $100. Save $70, $80. Save, uh, save about $80. And go to Cabela's and get the HP 175 series. 150 series. I think it's a 150 or 175 series uh, Sitica Shimano reel. You can't go wrong with that. You cannot go wrong with that. That that fucking reel. It's for a beginner, a starter. You can't go wrong with that reel. You know, it's relative cheap, not that expensive. It's a great reel to start with. I don't think you could go wrong with that. So if you're looking at like a like like a reel to start um, flipping and stuff like that, or well not flipping, but using a bait caster and stuff like that, I think that's your best bet. That Shimano reel that I'm telling you about, it's like eighty dollars, seventy dollars, seventy-five dollars. I don't think you will waste more than a hundred dollars with the line, you know, with a good line. With like a hundred and ten dollars, you could have. A good setup reel with a good line and you could put insurance on it a year warranty fish let's 
crazy. I didn't even feel that fish. I was jigging and he was in his mouth already. <laughs> oh no. Fuck. I hate when I do this. Shit. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh man. I just fucked this guy's eye up. Damn, buddy. I'm so sorry. Fuck. Guys, I just put the hook right through this little guy's fucking eye, man. Damn it. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, buddy. Ooh, spicy, huh? Fuck. I hate doing that. Well, There's nothing I could do, you know? It's not like I knew that was going to happen. I feel bad. I hope he didn't lose that eye. I hope he could still see out of it. Because he was like right. I mean, it was right to the middle of it. I don't think that fish is going to be able to see again. Darn it. Oh my gosh. I hate that. I, I seriously hate hurting the fish. Don't get me wrong. I love catching bass. But when they get hurt like that, I don't like it. I don't like killing the fish, you know. I mean, I didn't kill him, but I mean, like hurting him and stuff like that, you know. Darn it! I hope he's alright. Anyways, I gotta go to Cabela's and buy some more of this cross. I don't got no more. Sorry guys, I got the sun right on your face, on the camera's face. My phone is on an overheat. Give me a second. Let me get away from that. There we go. Oh, there you go. Always put a little bit of flavor on the bitch. Either garlic or shad. When I get out of here, I gotta go to Cabela's. I lost my Whopper Plopper yesterday, like four days ago. I only have two. Now I only have one. I lost my favorite one. It was a um, sexy shad color. It was like white with a bright neon green right down the side of it. I mean, if you know about fishing, you know what color is sexy shad. I'm trying to, um, this year, before this summer is over, I'm trying to go somewhere that um, smallmouth are biting. I've never caught a smallmouth fish, bass before. So if you guys watch this video, obviously if you like it, please help me out, give it a thumbs up, share my video. My video is not all that, you know, I, I'm a beginner. Um, 
so I appreciate if you guys help me out share my videos and like them you know I appreciate that and also like I was saying if you guys know over here in Connecticut in the East Arf, um, in the CT area if you guys know any good spot that small leaves are blasting please don't hesitate sending me an email and let me know um because I am dying for a smallie. I have never, never caught a smallmouth. I have heard they're amazing fighters. They fight like they're 10 pounders. <laughs> uh, the small ones fight like they're five pounders. Like it's crazy what I have heard about smallmouth. So please, guys, let me know. Please and thank you. thing guys if you guys are flipping don't do the mistake i used to do when i first first started flipping i i was about obviously i was a rookie i'm still a rookie i'm still a beginner but i have a little bit more knowledge <laughs> than before so if you guys are flipping first make sure you have 55 50 pound braid second make sure it's braid third make sure your drag it's tight all the way down, like tight, tight, tight. <laughs> my dumbass, my drag was always loose, always. And I would set the hook and my drag was like, Zzz! and my fish would just go. I'm like, what the fudge am I doing wrong? Every time, guys, every F and time that I try to set the hook, my drag would just go like, Zzz! Zzz! I'm like, why am I doing wrong? I really thought that you had to have the drag loose like that. I, I, for some reason, don't ask me why, I thought that you had to have the drag freaking loose for that fish could run and not break you off. For some reason, he, I thought he was gonna break me off. And I had to have the drag like that. And so I started watching, that's when I found Justin, LFG. I found him on YouTube. I started watching his videos and from there on, everything changed everything changed from that day on that i found his video that guy it's an amazing teacher and keep in mind that i <laughs> i call him a teacher because he teach me so freaking much stuff just through the videos just through the videos you know i'm just watching his videos every videos i watch almost all the videos that he got, this guy has on youtube and he's been out for Get away from me. He's been out for a pretty long time, over like five years doing YouTube. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure I haven't watched all his videos, but I watched most of them. And this guy shows, he, he helped me a lot. I could tell you that he helped me out a lot. Everything I know right now is because of LFG and Lunker TV. So, when I find out that I had to have my drag, <laughs> As tight as I can, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, that might be the problem, huh? So, yeah, then I say I came out here and I put the drag as tight as I can. And bada bing, bada boom, bum, bum, fish on, problem fixed. So all I was doing wrong was my drag. I was doing everything right but the drag. So make sure you have that drag pretty tight. And I mean, you can, you can do it, but don't use a spinning reel for flipping. It, it's just a pain in the ass. 
you can but it's just flipping closing it it's just it's a headache Nine, almost nine o'clock. Nine, 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 nine. I'm about to be here around like nine thirty, nine o'clock. Got to go to Cabela's and get some stuff, and then I got to bring the wife to work. Um, another thing guys I said this the other time but I'm gonna say it again I'm looking for somebody that's in the Connecticut area um, 17 years old 17 and up um, I don't want no kids just I don't want to deal with it asking permission for the parents and no anyway 17 years old and up I mean I know at 17 I still have to talk to your parents and stuff like that because I like doing stuff the right way but I'm looking for a kid kid or female whatever no discrimination if you're a girl that likes fishing and like doing videos hit me up if you're a guy hit me up too so um i'm looking for a guy or a female that loves fishing and loves cameras i need somebody that would take videos for me you know do nice videos put them on youtube for me you know edit them for me because I know how to fish. I think I do. But doing all that YouTube, um, video updating and um, freaking cutting them and editing them. I don't know how to do any of that shit. So, <laughs> look at this crappie. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I got a crappie. You guys kidding me? It's a chunk of crappie too. <laughs> Look at this guy, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> oh man, I think I'm gonna take you, buddy. Sorry. Who can I give it to? The light's crappy. My aunt, but it's only one only here. I don't think she could get much me out of this bad boy. Eh, you're lucky day, buddy. Look at this guy. Big crappy on a freaking flipping stick. I'm flipping. <laughs> That's a big crappy. Calico bass, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. I never caught a crappie on a fucking flipping. Flipping, I caught a crappie. <laughs> so like I was saying, I need a guy or girl that knows how to do editing, updating, and all that bullshit. 
Um, you have to have your own kayak. Um, right now I had two, but I sold the other one. I needed the money. So I kind of regret selling it, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But, hey. So, um, please, I'm gonna put my email in the description down below. Uh, you don't have to have ridiculous GoPro or ridiculous camera. You, just, you know, even when you have a phone. If you have a phone, there's a carp right there. <laughs> Those fucking things are so big. They're so skittish, though. They're so big and so skittish. They're so finicky. It's like a big bad bully, but he's so scared. It's like a big muscle man. Yeah, it's scary looking, but it's a little punk. <laughs> That's what it's a carp. So, yeah. Hit me up, guys. Or ladies. And let me know. Please, I hope somebody out there in the Connecticut area, you know, you don't have to have a car. I'll pick your ass up. Throw me some gas and I'll pick you up. You know? Look at the carp right there in front of me again. Let me see if I can get him. Let me see if I can get him. He's under me. Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut this video short. I don't want to do too long of a video. At least I caught two little ones. Stay good. Um, please let me know. I would like to bring somebody with me to take videos and do updates and put a song and music on my freaking videos. Stuff like that, you know. I would just like to make a good video like that. So, please let me know. And get a message with me and contact me. My email is going to be down in the below. So, if you're interested, please let me know. All right, guys. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Keep fishing. Try it out. If you never try it out, go out. This is the best therapy ever. You know? You don't, you don't have to be the best fisherman out there to come and have a good time. You know? Anyways, God bless you guys. Stay strong. Stay safe. God bless.